It's a paperless world, and digital transactions and document sharing are the norm. But there is a problem. Digital documents are more prone to security risks than a physical paper copy delivered from place to place. That's why digital signatures are so important, because they are a mathematical way of verifying the authenticity of digital messages to prevent forgery and tampering in the sending and receiving process. Think of them as the digital equivalent of a handwritten signature or a stamped seal. Digital signatures not only prevent impersonation, but provide evidence of an electronic message's origin, identity, and status, as well as a signer's informed consent. Digital signatures are based on asymmetric cryptography, a process that protects sensitive information with two mathematically linked keys. A private key, which is only known to the person it belongs to, and a public key, which is shared with anyone who needs to access the digital message. Encrypting and decrypting signature-related data relies on both the sender and the receiver's respective private and public keys. This security banks on the trust that the sender's private key has not been shared with anyone else. There are three different classes of digital signatures, each with different levels of security and legality. Class 1 signatures provide a basic level of security for low-risk environments and are not legally binding for business documents. Class 2 signatures authenticate a signee's identity against a pre-verified database. These signatures are used in higher-risk environments where there's a moderate consequence with data compromise, like e-filing tax documents. Class 3 signatures require a person to present in front of a certifying authority to prove identity before signing. This is reserved for e-tendering, e-ticketing, and court filings where a breach or compromise results in major consequences.